loving gracious heavenly father thank you lord for this blessed time lord we look unto you lord jesus you are the word who became flesh and you alone can break that bread and give it to our soul and spirit for our spiritual nourishment lord help us father help us to receive from you cleanse our hearts with your blood and flood our hearts with your holy spirit let your name alone be glorified speak to our hearts lord keep us closer unto you lord jesus so that we can hear your still small voice as we meditate from your scriptures help us to see your glory in the mirror of the word of god help us to repent and to be transformed into that same likeness by the power of the holy spirit in jesus precious peter's name we pray amen amen so uh, somebody was asking me how we can remain humble all the time <laughs> because we know the real secret of christian life is this humility where we are a zero humility means the humble attitude before god and before man the humble attitude before god will be reflected as gentleness and humility towards people also in our behavior and even before our behavior through our words and even before our words it will be there in our mind having low thoughts about ourselves not having a low self esteem uh, you know it is not like you know self esteem is uh, you know i would say that jesus would have had the not would have had but jesus had the highest self esteem when he walked on the earth but he had the deepest humility the great the highest self esteem and deepest humility go hand in hand one great verse in that regard would be john's gospel chapter 13 shall we turn to that uh, blessed verse in john chapter 13 when we say john chapter 13 all of you who know the word knows that there is a portion where jesus is washing the disciples feet and uh, just before he uh, rose up and began to wash the disciples feet what do we read over there we read that uh, john 13 verse 3 says says that jesus knowing that the father had given all things into his hands and that he had come forth from god and was going back to god got up from supper and laid aside his garments and taking a towel he girded himself and poured out wa- poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples feet so his uh, great act of humility is coming is emanating or is coming forth from his greater self esteem self esteem means actually you know what uh, he is telling that he is he has come from the father and he is going back to the father and he is secure in his father's uh, love and it says that knowing that the father had given all things into his hands so he was uh, he had that self higher self esteem we can say you know because uh, he knew that he is coming from the father and is going back to the father he did not have that kind of inferiority complex or anything so humility is not inferiority complex you know we shouldn't confuse the two inferiority complex means i am i uh, you know having very low self esteem and thinking that i am good for nothing i cannot do anything uh you know i am worthless feelings of worthlessness and hopelessness and helplessness you know you know it is that is not uh, that inferiority feelings uh, that is not humility uh humility is that uh, you know before that the highest self esteem we should have as children of god like just like jesus could say he came from came forth from the father when we are born again when we were born again we were born of the holy spirit we read that in uh john 1:13 no john 1:12 we uh, read that uh, who received jesus to them god gave them authority god gave them the right to become children of god and who were born verse 13 john 1:13 who were born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of god we were born of god we were born of god and we were born of the holy spirit john 3:3 3 says about uh he say uh, jesus says to nicodemus about being born again 
and about being born again he further illustrates in verse 5 john 3 5 says truly truly i say to you jesus answered unless one is born of water and the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of god so when we are born again we are born of the holy spirit of god we are we can say we were born from above so in that sense we can say although we were born from a mother's womb once now we are born again we are born from above a birth from above in that sense we can say that we have come forth from the father and is going back to you know after this pilgrim pilgrimage on this pilgrim journey on this earth we are going back to the father's bosom and uh, so you know that jesus self esteem the, that confidence in the father not self confidence but we can say that confidence in god you know it is not confidence in ourselves philippians 3 3 says that putting no confidence in the flesh the, the true circumcision you know philippians 3 3 uh, that verse says about the true circumcision mm, there three aspects we read about that true circumcision in the old testament they had the commandment of circumcision genesis chapter 17 we read that god commanded abraham and the true meaning of that circumcision we read there the spiritual meaning we read here in philippians chapter 3 verse 3 for we are the true circumcision who worship in the spirit of god that means we are worshiping in the holy spirit we are being filled with the holy spirit and we are worshiping we are delighting ourselves in the lord we are adoring and we are uh, being one with the lord we are worshiping in the holy spirit of god and we glory in christ jesus we are not glorying in the fleshly things like the people of the world and the carnal minded christians nor do we glory in spiritual ministry or bible knowledge or uh, what to say you know our church background or many kind of spiritual religious things we are not glorying in some people glory that i belong to this church I, some people glory that i am from this family so it can be either the worldly uh, kind of uh, what to say carnal glory or it can be the soulish kind of glory you know like the three places in the uh, three parts of the tabernacle outer court holy place most holy place so people in the of course people outside in the world are also glow, the, those who are not born again also are glorying in the things of the world power and prestige and beauty and fame and money and uh, you know those things and all whatever the people of the world glorying in unfortunately the people in the outer court are also glorying in similar things the fleshly things and but people in the holy place although they are apparently better but they are also not the really the best the people in the holy place would be glorying in their church or their denomination their you know what is the spirituality they are so proud of their own holiness <laughs> or their spirituality they are proud of proud of their bible knowledge and how many souls they have brought to the lord and how many tracts they have distributed what all they have done for the lord what all they have given for the lord for the lord's ministry what all good deeds they have done so that's a religious kind of glorying uh, like that elder son of the prodigal son story he was glorying in so many things that he had uh, done as if for the father but basically he was self-centered that you know soulish kind of realm which is also very kind of more dangerous than even the fleshly realm because the fleshly realm we are we know that at least that people are sinful but the soulish realm it is more subtle and it is more dangerous and we can be eaten up by spiritual pride and we can even end up finally in hell also from there but uh, god wants us to glory in himself glorying in christ himself that is what we read the true circumcision uh, philippians 3 3 4 we are the true circumcision who worship in the spirit of god and glory in christ jesus and put no confidence in the flesh glorying in christ jesus you know just like that song we sang one that ab simpson song once it was the blessing now it is the lord once we were glorying in so many blessings of the Lord. Oh, the Lord has blessed me with so many uh, this blessing from the Lord. I have got a job. I have got marriage partner. I have got children. I have got family. I have got this many things. God, Lord has blessed me with so many blessings. So you know that is actually you know uh, blessings of the Lord. People are seeking after that. It's a man-centered gospel or the prosperity gospel or the health and wealth gospel or it is the counterfeit gospel which is fit for the trash can and it is not something that jesus bring bro, uh, bring to this earth jesus brought the true gospel which is a god-centered one where we glory in christ jesus it is not 
something that we want but we are seeking not for his blessing but we are seeking for the lord himself where we are taken up with that simple pure devotion to the lord our bridegroom himself where we say that lord you are everything to me uh lord uh you know it is you who may see whom have i in heaven but the on earth i dis say no one besides the lord i want you alone so that is the true worship mm? so that is what we read uh, the true worship true circumcision is of course this true worship in the spirit of god and we are glorying in christ jesus and we put no confidence in the flesh just like the part of the flesh the foreskin was cut away in the true in the literal circumcision in the spiritual circumcision uh, you know that uh, that's a symbol the cutting away of the flesh part of the flesh was a symbolic of putting no confidence in in ourselves in our flesh or in our self will in, our, in ourselves so uh, you know uh, what to say uh, it, 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 true humility will will be associated with greater self esteem i was telling and i was uh, you know we were thinking that that greatest self esteem how jesus had the self esteem that he was from the father and he is going back to the father he was secure in the father's love whatever people did or did not do to him whatever people said or did not say to him jesus was not he was not bothered at all jesus was always concerned about what the father is thinking about me is the father delighted with my life that is what jesus was concerned about and uh, you know that was the true liberty that is the highest self esteem that uh you know even when people despise us or even when people uh you know praise us you know uh, for a truly spiritually minded person that shouldn't make any difference because he is taken up with god himself what god is telling about him what god is thinking about him people know only a fraction of our life but god knows us fully and uh, is he happy with our lives uh so you know that uh, uh, that greater self esteem i was telling and it is not uh, humility is not an inferiority complex like i am good for nothing and when we have that greater self esteem we know that we, when we see the glory of god we will understand that we are just nothing we are just dust uh, god knows our frail frame it says in psalm 103:14 you know we are just dust and we have nothing to glory in or boast in and uh, so how can we remain humble we can remain humble when we see the glory of jesus 